Hey guys, so I finally got one that's not broke or not a scam. This is the third shot at this, and this one looks great. It's the grill overlay. Here it has the 3M tape on the back. Looks really good. They give you some adhesion promoter and then an extra roll of the tape. And then even this piece. I think I'm going to add a few more. That's what people were doing that I've seen. So add some in here, especially around this area. It's not going to hurt. You have a whole roll here. So I'm excited this finally came in. It's a piece I really wanted. The first one, if you, if you guys remember, was chipped in the corner. The second one I bought, I don't know if I told you guys, but I bought one. It was like $30. Seemed really cheap. And it was a scam. All I got was a roll of tape. And I guess like... 10 other people bought it same thing they just shipped a roll of tape for whatever reason so i got my money back on that and paid 50 something bucks for this one really excited every time i see your guys' cars on here like boosted whips and um all the other ones i see and they most of them have this this overlay piece and it just looks so good with the black and it just flows so really excited to do this it seems pretty basic too just peel the tape and line it up and should be a direct fit. So I'll set my camera up so you guys can see the install. You know, it seems like I said, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll go out there and we'll give it a shot. Thanks guys. So guys, here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put just 70% alcohol to clean. Clean anything that might be on here, just to give it a good, like once over. This will ensure that the tape sticks really good, especially on this flat area here. Just a nice once over. Make sure everything's off. Just try it. It is a little cold here today, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat the tape up with a blow dryer just so it adheres better. And then the tips I've seen, it says you start with the center since the center with this cutout can only kind of fit one way. Because the last one I got that was broke, my intention was to start with the side, then it wouldn't make sense because you can kind of adjust it. And if you didn't do it right, this seam wouldn't line up. So I'm gonna take your guys' advice and start with the center and get that all set. And then once that's set, it can only go one way. Okay, so let me go pull the tape off. And I'll get right back. Okay, so I went ahead and was heating up the tape a little bit. Now I'm going to open this adhesion promoter. And we'll just go over this center section with it. Not sure exactly what is in here, but pretty strong smelling. I think pretty much all it's doing too is cleaning it because it's drying kind of like alcohol does. We'll do that just so it strips up. If there's any of oils on it, I know that tape doesn't stick that great if there's oils. Give it a wipe down, especially down here. Okay. We'll let that dry and I'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. I would advise you guys not to use that adhesion promoter. Whatever it was, it left like big stains all over it. And I wasn't too confident leaving that on there. And then if I ever took this plastic overlay off, it would like etch it. So just use the 70% alcohol. Works fine. It strips it the same. So I went ahead and I added, as you can see, the strips here and then one over here. 
here and then one on top just because I know this is the thin part of it. And I heated it up pretty warm so it's extra tacky. So I'm just gonna set it on the bottom here because I know there's some play in there and then I will just bring it up. There, and there's a little lip that it catches in too. And then I'm gonna press it on and then bring it up and then press it as I go around. I'm gonna press it and then go around. And just hold it. It fits really good already, you can already see it. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it just so it really sits in there. Looks good. I'll just hold it for a minute, put a lot of pressure. Because I noticed that when you put it on there, the natural bow in this, it's not formed to the grill exactly. So it has a tendency to want to lift in this corner, so you just hold it. And over time when you know your car sits out in the sun and stuff, it gets pliable, it'll just really mold to the car. But it looks good. Like I said, I put on a couple extra strips of tape just to make sure, but that's 3M tape's really strong. I mean you don't need a ton of it. Your whole, I mean that whole body panel, like the moldings on cars. So it should be good. It looks good. Everything's nice and tight. Looks good here. It's really good. So I like it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Take it off the tripod here. Okay, so here's how it looks so far. You can see it looks good. And I'm just waiting on these side pieces, but I like it. I like how it just flows all with this piece. And I was concerned about like this, how thick this is. I mean, it's not bad, as you can see it. Get down there. I mean, it's a little bump. But I mean, when I add this other piece, it should flow really nice. And like I said, I like this better than the other option, the Honda options, couple hundred dollars. And it changes the look of it. it. Has like the always reminds me of like a like a bull. It has like the horn look. I'm not really a big fan of that. I like this grill. I just don't know why they didn't black it all out to match. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the other pieces the same way. I'll be right back. Let me go pull the tape and heat that up as well. Okay, so I heated it up here. And the only thing I added to this is this little piece here just so it holds. I didn't want to get too close to this center part because I think if you put anything on there, it's not going to sit flush. And they did a pretty good job. I mean, they put it all the way down to the tip, as much as you can get. So we'll go ahead and install this. And here, I'm just going to match it up with what I have here already. So I want that joint to be tight. So I'm, I'm actually resting it against here. And then I'm going to put it on. Just get it lined up here. And then just kind of let it drop in place and follow it over. There we go. So this thing, what I've noticed, it's longer. This black piece is longer than, than the chrome that it sits on, which is nice. But as you saw there, it was, it was hitting this headlight right here. So you had to flex it in a little bit. And I mean, it's flexible. And then it pops in, there's plenty of room underneath this fender. So it just rides in, which is the nice thing about this is when you look at it, you won't see any chrome. The other one that I got that was actually broke. It's for some reason it was shorter and you could see like the edge of the chrome here. I thought that's how they all fit, but this one fits way better. So I'm just pushing it in here. And know that when you push in, the chrome moves in and out. So it's not like this is moving a lot. It's the chrome underneath that has a lot of play because it's held on with just push pins on top here. So it looks good. Everything's lined up nice. Joints really tight. 
push it a little bit more. And again, I'll hold it for a second. But that 3M tape, especially when you heat it, is really good. It's really tacky. And make sure this goes underneath here. There we go. It's good. Give you guys a close look at that. So the joint's really nice. And then just what I like about it too, it follows the contour. So it doesn't just cover up this little weather stripping. So it's kind of nice. It looks really factory like that. And then here's what I was talking about. It's a lot longer. The chrome piece probably cuts off about here. So this piece, you have to push down a little bit and tuck it underneath the, this fender. It's the only thing that I've noticed. Well, as you can see, there's plenty of play. And you see it moving right here. And this thing, like I said, it's just held on with push pins. So it flexes a lot. I always notice that when I wash my car, that it moved a lot but it's normal, it's just the play because it has plastic pins. So if you guys are doing this, just know that this piece has to go underneath because if not, it's gonna stick on top here. So it just goes underneath here, as you can see. Let's get a better angle of it. Nothing major. Like I said, I actually like it because now when you look at it from different angles, this piece curves in so it looks factory instead of just like a, something that you threw over the top here. So let me go ahead and get the other side started and I'll get back to you. So here, I just got to do the passenger side. And here I just added the same little piece of tape there. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm not positive this side's long too, like the other side, but we'll see here. If I have to tuck this side as well, I would think you would, but we'll see. So here I'm just lining it up with the center grill again, pushing it against it so it has a nice tight fit. And then just going right up to that weather strip. And see here it's a little long. So same thing, you have to push it down so it goes underneath that fender. I like that part so then when you look from the ang uh, side here, you don't see the chrome sticking out. It's really a nice design. Let's just press it down really good. Again, there's a lot of play in that chrome, so you can push, but it, the whole chrome piece is going to move back. And you don't want to go too crazy because it is just plastic pens, and you could probably snap them. So here, I'm just going to hold it just for a little bit. Get that set in there. But everything fits really nice. Looks factory, to be honest. The design of it looks really good. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. Let's make sure everything is lined up right. Looks really good. And it holds really tight on there. Yeah, it's really tight, especially in the corner. And as you guys know, 3M tape is really strong stuff. Give you a closer look here. It looks really nice. Really flows with the car. This black. I noticed this side. I don't know if you guys' cars is, is like this too, but this one stuck out more than the right side. It had more play in this one. I've always noticed that, and I've taken it apart, and it's everything's pinned in there just fine. It's just being a assembly line car. Something I noticed. So didn't change when I put the overlay on the top. Just this side does move more than the other side. So. I don't know if you guys are the same, not a huge deal, but just something I noticed. But again, as you can see when you push in on it, the whole thing moves, it's really stuck on there. And then as this car sits out in the sun, you know, it's just going to really bake that tape on there. So I won't have a problem holding on there in the weather. Real nice how it flows with the headlight. I'm really happy with this. You don't have to drop the bumper do anything like that it just looks really clean nice aggressive look it flows with the all black grill and it's hard plastic so rock chips and stuff won't be really an issue i really think it sets the front end off i love all your guys videos what watching you guys do this has made me really want to get this done just took three shots to get it finally from china and this one believe it or not i got in a week 
which is impressive from China. Seven days. So love the look. Just completes it. My next goal, I have the wrap for the side window trim. I have to do that too. I just haven't had um, time to really get that done, but I, I'll post a video when I do that. Thanks guys for all your suggestions and your guys' videos.